Hi, year nine. Hope you're well. Uh, it's that time of year, uh, options time. Now, obviously, normally in a situation in a normal year, I would go through this PowerPoint and lesson, uh, but we can't do that at the moment. So I'm just going to talk you through it now to give you a bit of an idea of what's available in design technology. So you've got two options. You've got the BTEC option. You've got the GCSE option. Uh, under GCSE, we have product design and health and social care. And under BTEC, you have hospitality and catering. So um, GCSE product design, you've got the opportunity to design and make a unique one of a kind product that you can take home and use. Uh, I've put some lovely examples on here from previous years. You'll notice a lot of these are lights because every year there's a set question. And this year there, there were three options, but most people opted to do lights. So you've got some lovely bits of design work. This one in particular uh, went on to win an award. It was a jellyfish lamp and it was um, really impressive. A uh, lot of detail went into this. If I click here, it should just uh, show you how it works. It changes color and everything. Uh, really nice finished product. Uh, and that was all the, the pupil's own work and that was hers to take home. Um, so what you do, you'll learn about technology in the modern world uh, and issues designers face. Things like the raw materials running out and how we could be more sustainable as a society. Um, like I've already said, there's different options. One year we had light and design. Uh, there's been console and game storage, television units, etc. Okay. Uh, the other GCSE option is health and social care. It will give you the opportunity to gain a to gain a broad understanding of the sector itself and what actually goes on and what options there are for you um, after education and in the world of work. Um, so if you just have a quick look at these pictures. Is some of the settings in health and social care. So it could be anything from working with children, um, disabled, the elderly. Uh, and very poignant at the moment, we've got the NHS workers there on the bottom right, uh, you know, have been a fabulous help during this pandemic. And they've given a lot of their time uh, to help us. So if you've got a passion for care, this could be the perfect subject for you. Um, just some of the examples studying sort of how children develop using different toys for education and learning and fun and then looking at campaigns to reduce uh, things like taking drugs uh, binge drinking road safety for children etc um, there are some of the things you'll be studying so you'll be looking at human growth and development for all the ages uh, promoting health and well-being to make sure we're fit and healthy adults and looking at what provisions there are now in the 21st century um, it's a split of 40% coursework and there's an exam that you'll sit at the end of your 11 and that's worth 60%. So on to our BTEC subject, which is hospitality and catering. Uh, it will give you the sort of real opportunity to do things you would actually do in the world of work. That's what they call it, a sort of vocational subject, because um, you'll be actually doing real life things, just cooking. And there's some of the jobs that you could potentially go on to uh, and start with. Obviously, you could pro progress your way up. I'm sure people uh, you know, that run, own and run these big hotels are earning an awful lot of money. So there's lots of opportunities there. Um, it gives you the sort of experience to develop essential skills that employers look for and they, they really want you to have. Um, just some pictures. You can see the sort of fun we have in the kitchen, actually. It's, uh, you know, pupils do really enjoy it and you get a really sort of good team spirit. Obviously, these were taken last year before the pandemic. Uh, I'm sure in January we'll be back in the kitchen, fingers crossed. But you can just see some of the things that have been going on. Some prizes given out there. OK. And uh, there's me disguised as a famous chef. Um, and preparing and making the Christmas dinner for staff, which is obviously a, a big challenge every year that people's undertaking that counts towards one of the units. So um, again, just a little breakdown. So working in the hospitality industry, you'll learn all about that, how to plan, prepare and finish food professionally, uh, food safety and health and safety. So you do things you know properly in the kitchen uh, and how the establishments themselves function. So like the, the, you know, the business side of it, the money side of it, the finance. Um, with this course, you've got 75% coursework and only 25% external exam. So there's less weight in on this one with the written exam. OK, now I'm sure you're probably going to have a lot of questions. So if there is anything you want to ask me, just feel free to drop me an email 
or alternatively, you know, when you're back in school, come and see me for a chat uh, when you have chance, or Mr. P.S. or Miss Sydenham. Anyway, thank you very much for listening, and I hope you're well, and see you soon.